Oh, we're tripping balls. <laughs> but why are there so many dead creatures here? And he's still laughing. This is not a laughing matter, naked butt boy. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming to hang with me here today on the channel as we play through Green Hell. We're picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode in this old facility that we was utilized by Jake and his crew a while back. Now, I believe this is the crew that we discovered in the last episode that the air traffic controller had previously picked up. So we're piecing bits and pieces of the story together, and it's getting increasingly darker. There are audio recordings all around this hut that basically lead to a giant rift being created between our main character, Jake, and his colleagues because of his erratic behavior and obsession with finding the appropriate plant or herb that can cure his wife's cancer. This all seems to have happened a while ago, due to the state of this little building, and I have made my predictions that Mia is already dead, and the person that we're communicating with via walkie-talkie is either Ghost Mia from Beyond the Grave, or Jake's own imagination. Welcome again to the channel, guys. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade, and before we go any further, I need you to do something for me. Hit that subscribe button. Also, ring the bell so you can stay up to date on all things Nerd Parade, but we're going to continue on. Now, predictions have been made, and I've been having a lot of fun with some of these crazy predictions. But Green Hell has gotten, as I mentioned, progressively darker. <clears throat> and little clues have led me to piece these theories together. Ooh, fruits. <laughs> I ha oh my god, am I producing leeches? I have so many on me right now. Okay, let's pull these guys off. I have 10,000 leashes on me. Get get off me. I just went through the old campsite, and apparently... Uh, turn. I just it infected me with 10,000 leashes. Just on that one arm, though. Everything else seems to be fine. So, we had some really awkward communications with our wife in the last episode where we discovered the airstrip and a potential way out of this jungle. We also talked to an air traffic controller that freaked me out a little bit because apparently we've been through this before which leads or directs me to believe that jake's mental state is just effed in the a with a big rubber d like this guy is beyond crazy but i digress let's figure out how we can uh you know survive in green hell and uh really discover the dark secrets by going inside because I haven't done this yet. Just waiting for you. Oh, well, this looks... Two things are happening. This is either a flashback, calling it now, or... Somebody's been maintaining this facility. I'm leaning towards flashback. And his wife's going to be in here. Almost guarantee it. We're getting detoxed or deloused. Ooh, blood sample. Please insert tube. There's a lot of tubes here, but I don't think I have the one that it needs. Rats are being tested. Ooh, an audio recorder. There's turtles here. And a half shell. I'm sorry, what happened to you, Donatello? Let's read this letter. Uh, uh, so far only 3% of the species present in the jungle have been tested so this is kind of the same letter that we checked out in the last episode Dr. Smith port number 26 26 observations on Quasia Amara a shrub from the Samarobaceae family with compound inflorescence I was wrong about the wife being here long, intensely red leaves distinctive characteristics oh, its difficult flower personality. contains chemical compounds among others, which make this shrub one of the most bitter plants in the world. So I was basically an HR nightmare. Use it to make a brew for fevers is pain. what they're telling me. Unfortunately, aside from this usage, I haven't found evidence of any other medicinal properties. Apart from its terrible taste, the plant doesn't have any Ooh. other distinguishable features. Of course, a sample along with full biochemical analysis will be included in the nearest transport. Okay, 
So in my discovery, we got the we got the infected blood tube. I don't know what the blood is infected with, okay. but let's so analyze it. Here, no, I just need the right sample. My hand. Here's meat, turtle meat. Oh god! Oh my god! I can't believe that works. I I really can't believe that worked. I mean, there was a dissected turtle on the table, so I just gotta guess. Do I need human meat? Failure. So, okay. How about a fruit? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I'm testing different things for a potential cure. Is that what I'm doing? I bet if I put the glowing fungus in here, it's going to be 100% success. Almost guarantee it. Almost guarantee it. So I got to find that. Let's listen to this recording. Smith, report number 27. Observations on Guanabana. A small tree in the Anonaceae family. Iguanabana. Yellow and green heart-shaped flowers. Oval fruits up to 12 inches long, weighing on average 2.2 pounds. Covered in dark green skin with soft prickles, white creamy flesh with black seeds. Distinctive characteristics, very tasty. Very tasty. I've collected samples of Delicious. Fruits, leaves, and bark. As with many other species, the natives use the guanabana fruit to make anti-parasite brews. I must repeat some tests to be sure, but so far, the evidence for antiviral, antibacterial, and even anti-depression properties is very promising. Oh, antidepressant. I'm not sure if I should get our hopes up, but some of the plant substances can Maybe be Jake could use that. cancer cells. <gasps> I want to destroy cancer cells. Cool, but for the first time, I feel that we are actually close to discovering what we're looking for. Out of all the potential samples studied so far, I recommend conducting a thorough analysis on Guanabana first. Guanabana, okay. That has given me something to search for. So we camp Guanabana. We hold you on our heart. When I think about you, it makes me want to fart. That's an old-ass Nickelodeon reference. If you get that, give me some love in the comments. Anyway, uh, Guanabana. So my initial prediction was off. I thought my wife was going to be in here, and I thought this was a flashback. Both of those were wrong. But we did get a lead. Guanabana is what we got to find. All right, on further examination of this map, it's actually even more zoomed in than the last one, and it kind of threw me for a loop. So... This was what I was looking at. This is the grapple gun location. Here is the grapple gun location. This is the facility that we were at. And here is Lambda 1 directly to the east. Then there's Point Hotel right here. And then Poseidon's Mighty Trident. I'm not actually sure what that symbol is. So we're going to call it Poseidon's Mighty Trident, which is right over here. The closest point is Lambda 1. I'm going to try to head over there, and if that doesn't give me anything, we're going to go to Point Hotel and see what happens. So we need to go east, directly east from our camp, which we're right here at. So let's check our watch. And it's just across the lake that we have in front of us. Now, I need to remember that crocodiles and stingrays are a thing. And I'm not going to mess with them too terribly much because they scare me, and uh, I've already learned my lesson. But we have saved our game. And we need to find the Camp Guanawana to cure the cancers and benefit mankind. We're gonna do. We're doing good for mankind right now. This is. Oh, it's Stonehenge, which means we gotta drink crazy soup again. And with great crazy soup comes great hallucination. Hallucinogen, make and drink ayahuasca. Aha! So first and foremost, we gotta do small fire. Uh, let's start with a fire. It all started with a fire. Yes! We're going to get high and make soup. Uh, actually, flip that. We're going to make soup and then get high from the soup. And then chase naked butt boy. Here we go! Ayahuasca time. We're going to go through the OT gate. Unlock our sealed memories of being a cr batshit crazy scientist. Maybe succeed in saving Mia. Maybe find out she's actually dead. Oh god, creepy laughter. I know it's you, Naked Butt Boy. You've been messing with me this entire time. I'm gonna follow your voice. Aha! I found you, you little bastard. It's your blood that I need. You have the cure. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. 
How are you not scared of snakes? <laughs> oh, we're tripping balls. <laughs> but why are there so many dead creatures here? And he's still laughing. This is not a laughing matter, naked butt boy. <laughs> All right, no stone can hold me back. Let's you figure know, out the secrets. What the worst part about this disease is? The doctors gave me six months. Six months. How am I supposed to live my life? When time is running out, how the fuck do I... I just can't. I can't do this anymore. I wake up next to you every day, knowing there's no future for me. I just can't take it. The pain? I want to end it and... Just be done. That sounds like she committed suicide. Someone is holding my heart in an iron fist, and I can't breathe. I just lie there and look at you. It sounds like it sounds dark, but it sounds like she committed suicide. And apparently, breaking news: the extraordinary discovery of Jake Higgins. That. That's me. No cancerous changes found. Underlying diseases and complications none. Treatment conducted medical treatment procedure. CT can assess. Didn't show any tumors in the lungs, lungs, or blood tests. She, she was cured? The patient chart seems to indicate that she was cured. Then why is it so dark? Did she go... Did she get cancer again? Was remission unsuccessful? That jar and each of the hallucinations, hallucinations have, has contained the gift. Quote unquote, bunny ears, the gift from the tribe from the very first hallucination. Breakthrough in medicine. Uh, Omula Corp is going to heal us. Uh, was the only one to convince Jake to share the secrets of the eternal drug health. So, I, I'm a hero. I can't blame you. Found the stuff to cure cancer. You chose me, not knowing the cost. Would you do it again? Hey, baby. Or was the price of healing me too high? What? What price? What did we... What did I do? Tell me, please. We're gonna read the floating newspaper. Speed, more important than quality. Drug from Momola Corp already available. Uh, impossible to conduct all necessary tests. Oh no. Oh no, the drug must have worked, but then there was some horrible side effect. There's gotta have been some horrible side effect. Unknown virus detected. It's been a week since Brazilian hospitals shared information about new occurrences on an unidentified virus. To date, a dozen cases have been reported. More infected. Outbreak of unknown disease spiraling out of control. They all believed this was the only solution. Shutting down airports, seaports, and now this? They are isolating the entire continent. So this place is on lockdown. Quarantine. Because of this virus? Oh! <laughs> That won't be the first time I got killed by a dick gourd.
I'm wondering if that actually happened. Oh my god. That's a body bag. These are graves. I just woke my ass up out of a grave. I knew something. I'm telling you, I made these predictions from the get-go. Oh wow, ancient Mayan city of gold, maybe. That's a lot of body bags. So they dangle the carrot. I'm serious. Sometimes I think that it's like, okay, all of my predictions are wrong, and they do this shit, and I'm like, I knew it all along. I was, I was right, 100%. Oh my god, is this from the virus? Are these the casualties from the vi the outbreak, the virus that must have been caused by this uh, this pharmaceutical company or medical research? Oh, good. I'm now waking up. I'm now with full stats thanks to Hallucin Jason, but... Hey, there's boots here. Ah, grapple gun! I needed you for getting high places. Yoink. Uh, oh, an audio recorder. Look like you're gonna need this. No, it doesn't look like he's gonna need it, but he's been here for a while. A while, while. Audio recorder, let's do it. I can't really understand it very well. He's just grunting a lot. Thanks for the grapple gun. Later, B. So, I am now with the stone. We need to go directly west, grapple gun up. And I feel like the end is nigh. I really feel like... Uh, last time I did that, I died. Let's let's go around the safe way. I feel like the end is nigh, honestly. Oh, no, anthills! Damn it. I um, that, thought that thing was a snake. Not doing good. We're close to an answer. So close to an answer. I feel it in my bones. And my hallucinogens. All right, it's time to be badass with a grapple gun. Let's see what this puppy can do. Kachunk. Sound effects for priest badassery. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Do I do it again? We're gonna make it to our next point, which is Point Hotel. I think it's Point Hotel. We still got Poseidon's mighty trident over here. So we're gonna loop it around. Yeah, Point Hotel is where we're going next. And hopefully there's a place to save my game. Because it's been a while since I've done that, and I'm starting to get scared. I mean, I could always drop a little tiny bed here. Okay, that was an iguana, not a snake. Could always drop a tiny bed here, which seems like a really, really good idea, but I feel like I'm on a roll. I feel like I've got the spirit of the jungle with me. Mowgli's running by my side. Bagheera's hiding in the trees, and Baloo is being lazy. He's only worried about the bare necessities. This is the village. This is the native village. I don't think they're gonna have calendars to say my game there. I really don't. But we're gonna get close to it. Wait. This is the village from the initial cutscene. The thing that I called Thunderdome. So Jake made it all the way here that initial night, and then fell somewhere and lost his memory at this point. Oh, we are definitely getting close to answers. We are definitely getting close to them. The only question I now have is how many more times are going to have to trip balls to figure out the truth. Probably quite a few. Nerd Paraders, we are now approaching the Thunderdome. The point where it all began, and it will maybe all end. We still have to go to Poseidon's Mighty Trident. Oh wait, no, this is where we're at. But then what the hell was this? All right, so this is probably where the point where it's going to end. It's going to end where it began. And it looks like I'm going to have to drink some ayahuasca soup. But this is where we're going to leave you in this episode, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang. I hope you're enjoying Green Hell. I likely think the next episode might be the conclusion of the Green Hell series. I believe we've reached the point of the end. So thank you so much for coming to hang with me here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you can stay up to date on all things Nerd Parade. If you like this episode, don't forget that thumbs up button. And most importantly of all, always remember to take care of yourselves. I feel like we'll finally unlock the dark secrets of Green Hell in the most likely final episode 
in the next one. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll catch you then. Take care of yourselves. Later.